guys, so it's been almost a year, maybe almost two years since I did my first BEW harness, and that was my first wiring harness I had ever actually done pretty much from scratch. So there were a lot of things I didn't do well on the video, and I just did this one quite a bit different. So I wanted to go ahead and go over this and skip doing any music with it to just try to make this more clear. Like I say, I know that first video was definitely harder to read so again though going back to these um, schematics that are on the TDI swap group there's also a couple of layouts to give you better idea of the power wiring and stuff like that and the OBD port and all that stuff but just to kind of give you guys a general overview here I do have it all buttoned up pretty well but I left it somewhat exposed so I can show you guys how I set this thing up um, and again I went through and X'd out all the sensors that are going to get deleted in the tune I did um, X out the glow plugs on the last one I did but this will have them in there so again getting these schematics just really makes it easy to trace out all the sensors and get everything powered up the way you want to. I think kind of the, probably the hardest part is just there's a lot of sensors. Well, and just getting the wire colors right because there's a lot of duplicate wire colors. I have no idea why they did that so much. But you've got like a yellow black wire here that actually just goes straight to the ECU. Even though most of the yellow black wires are actually power. So all those are getting deleted, but like the cam sensor here has a yellow black power wire and it's also teed into a yellow black to the glow plug relay. And then there's a few more of them here, but you kind of get the idea. You can pretty much trace everything out when you lay these four, four papers out. I've tried taping them together before, but this just gives you an idea. So. I guess um, the biggest thing that's different with this harness from my first video, I'm probably going to link both videos together so you guys can get an idea of the differences, but I'm not sure what vehicle this came out of, if it was a Golf or a Jetta, but they were able to pull the whole small plug harness out without cutting anything, where if you've watched my other video that I started from scratch so what that did is out here to your main sensors your crank your cam your injection injectors um, the fuel temperature and coolant plug all of that stuff I did not have to touch at all and so that really cuts down quite a bit of stuff basically outside you've got your N75 valve um, the alternator plug and your map sensor as long as you're going to delete your mass airflow sensor and all the EGR stuff so those are all going to come in and again that's almost all pretty easy to trace out from that that sheet right there all the sensors are pretty much straight to the um, the ECU you're gonna have a couple of power wires though specifically um, your I do a just a power wire out to the alternator that's all that it needs and then your um, N75 the um, the yellow black off of that will also get power and then you'll have another yellow black that goes to the glow plug relay. So you're going to need to jumper all of those together and send them up this way to where you tee into power. And so you can see I've got that yellow black coming up here and then from the relay, the relay has three power wires that it needs. It needs a blue, yellow, a black and purple and this black and green. The two smaller ones are on the big plug and this black and green is on the 
smaller plug. And anyway, I go ahead and just jumper all of those together. They're all pretty much low voltage or low amperage, so I've found that it works pretty well to just run those all off of one one wire, one 15 amp fuse right here. The big thing is you want all that to be on this. So this is like this is a 53 relay. I just reuse it out of the car, but an 87 relay would be the same thing. This is just a little, I think these Volkswagen ones are a little stronger. I prefer using those over just a cheap 87 relay off the internet. But um, basically, you've got your three power wires coming from the ECU. Those are going to run to your main power feed from the relay, as well as that 115 amp fuse that is jumper to all of the other power wires. So that's going to feed all your power once the key is turned on. The only other fuse here that you need is for your OBD port. Right there. That has three things it needs. There's two grounds. There is a power and the K line, which goes straight to the ECU. Um, you'll have to get the pin out for that. Again, getting all the papers off of the swap group page is pretty key to this working out. Um, and that needs constant power though, because if you use any kind of like a scan gauge or something, it's going to save memory by having power all the time. That's the only reason you really needed to have power all the time. But that, because of that, I feed it off of the main power wire teed to this, um, just a five amp fuse. And that goes straight to your OBD port. Um, so out from there, basically this is just a simple positive and negative to kick the relay on. I have, there's a few grounds you've got to do that are jumpered together here. You've got, again, one ground out to the OBD port. You've got your ground that this is being fed from the main ground. This is just the one that was coming off of the re off of the ECU to start with. And then I teed into that. And the only other ground you need is here to the glow plug relay. Again, schematic will show you all of that stuff. Um, that pretty much covers all the grounds and all the powers here. So that puts it down to two power wires. The main feed that's going to be on a 30 amp fuse. And then your key on wire. Big thing with the key on wire, it has to have power while it's cranking and while the key's on. So you need to test. It's best if you can just find whatever is feeding the ECU on the swap vehicle because that is going to give you full time power whether you're cranking or not. What you can easily do is just take the, find whatever power you're using and, and get it on a meter and turn the key to on, make sure there's power, and turn the key to start. And make sure you still have power because I've seen so many issues with people losing power while the engine's turning over and then there's no fuel so they don't start. And so this is that key wire coming off of there for that and the, um, the main power here, again I reused the starter or the, the glow plug relay has that bigger, I think it's a 8 gauge maybe 6 gauge wire as well as my 12 gauge wire for the 30 amp fuse those are just running back I don't remember what this stuff was used for exactly but the 50 amp fuse for the glow plugs remains the same and then I just used one of the 30 amp fuses that was already in here to feed that main power to the relay over there so this will go to the battery, just like it did before, and this will go to the key, and then your ground. And that is all you need to set this guy up. Um, again, there's, there's a lot of little wires going to all the sensors. Um, there's two control wires. There's a green and a black and a blue and a black, I think, that are coming off of there. And they go straight over to the ECU. Just stuff like that. Again... If you're following this, 
the schematic here, it's pretty much going to show you what all that stuff is. In fact, I can show you right here. You can see the blue and the black and the green and the black are going to come off. And they go to either of those two pins on the ECU. Um, I'm not going to go over each specific pin here, but you can pretty much get the idea. Um, one really confusing thing I didn't mention is the throttle pedal has six wires, and for whatever reason, three of them, they decided to reverse the colors on halfway to the ECU. So, whatever you need to do to make sure that is correct, these, there's the white and the blue switches to the gray and the white, the gray and the blue switches to the gray and the white. It's super confusing, but just take your time and make sure you don't mess that up. I didn't show that it's over here, but again, it's just coming off of, off of the big plug here and going over to your throttle pedal. Um, I did go ahead and leave. These are all the excess wires we don't need right now, as well as these were the brake and clutch wires that you'd use and the um, speed sensor if you're going to go ahead and set up cruise control you'll need those as well but that is a pretty quick overview of everything you need to run basically this should cover any EDC 16 harness and um, ECU whether it be a BEW, a BHW, those are both almost identical. And the the BRM harness is really, really close to the same thing. I haven't got to do one yet, but I know it's going to turn out exactly like this. And yeah, and then obviously your, your glow plug wires come right out of your glow plug relay and right to your glow plug harness. That is really everything you need to know again if you do need to cut these if you don't end up getting them out in one piece all these are on this schematic so you just have to jumper between the ECU and whatever plug you're going to but it's all it's all laid out right here for you guys so that is what you need to do hopefully that helps you guys out and thanks for watching